Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him.
Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I'm afraid you seem to be short of funds, Sonny. Just three gold coins is all I ask and your sister will love them. Remember, your father will give you money if he hears good reports about you. Get your miscellaneous items here. Mind how you go, kid. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Honestly, where's that good-for-nothing husband of mine? <laughs> there goes Brom's kid. I was just, um, I'm, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece.
Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. of mine <laughs> with some woman I don't doubt I run his house bring up his children and what do I get in return nothing if you find him let me know won't you you have right I'm gonna turn him into balverine food Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! Stop thinking about it. You filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! We weren't doing anything, honest! Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about it! Keep it up, lad! You know I only have eyes for you, my sweet. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring. Would you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Fine. 
fine. Have your stupid good deed, then. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Toy bear for me. Many lovely things. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Baby toys and little girl. Ah! What are you doing? Ah! I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Thank you so much. 
Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Get your miscellaneous items here! Brother, I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> You've got to hide! <gasps> got one! Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both.
from the nearby woods. The boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakville. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is May and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me.
Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that! Well, at least you're not stupid. I did it in 50 seconds. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for my injured leg, I'd beat that time. No chance. I'm the fastest guild apprentice by far. You're the most arrogant, that's for sure. I'm the fastest! No, you're not. You've finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Try with this. That's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance. 
while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Use your stick. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there.
Um, listen, I have to make an apple pie for the Guildmaster at the end of the week. But I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. If you find enough, can you bring them back here? I'll reward you. training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then, let's see what you've got, farm boy. save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Every time. Damn it! How did you stop that? Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. What a hit! That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance? Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Guildmaster, a powerful man. Are you ready for your archery trick? Let's continue our training with the bow.
To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. Now press and hold the X button to pull back the bowstring. The longer you do this, the more powerful your shot will be. Well done! You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points. But you have it's to balance power, power, firing rate, and accuracy. I like half of them. Let's see what you can it's do. Still past the thing. I think I had to do it twice, though. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. You need more muscle behind your shots, lad. Marvelous. further for more power. Plenty of power. Lovely. Nice aiming. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Any apprentices want to practice melee com- Right, this melee combat against Whisper counts. Right, let's get Whisper and you in the ring. Same rules as before. I have a special prize for you, if you manage an A+. Sword work earned you a B. I've got a nice sword for you, if you can get an A+. Right, this melee combat against Whisper counts. Right, let's get Whisper and you in the ring. Same rules as before. I have a special prize for you. Oh. 
All right, you can stop now. That was very impressive. Whisper should be ashamed. A plus. That grade means I can award you a new weapon. What did I decide to do him this time? Last time I didn't do him. You really showed Whisper. Now the guild master has asked me to grade everyone's archery skills. And if you get an A+, you'll receive a special prize. You've got one minute, starting when you fire your first shot. Nice work. Yeah, that's good enough score for a, well, a B. Remember, you can still come back. Now, the Guildmaster's asked me to grade if... And if you get an A, you've got one minute. <laughs> you set a new high score! Nice work! Yeah, that's good enough score for a... well, a B! I told you. Remember, I'm you can still come back and try... Now the Guildmaster's asked me to grade everyone's archery skills. And if you get an A... you've got one minute.
was superb! Nice work. Yeah, that's good enough score for a, well, a B. Remember, now the Guildmaster's asked. And if you get an A, you've got one minute. Nice work. Yeah, that's good enough score for a, well, a B. Remember, you can still come back and try and... Now, the Guildmaster's asked me to grade everyone's... And if you get an A, you've got one minute. A new high score! Wow, that's excellent! I can give you an A. Remember, you can still come back and try and get that. Now, the Guildmaster's asked me to grade everyone's arch. And if you get an A, plus, you'll receive a special prize. You've got one minute. Probably would have had, would have had it if I hadn't missed some couple few shots. was superb! went straight through!
course that time. Nice work. Yeah, that's good enough score for a, well, a B. Remember, now the Guildmasters are... And if you get an A, you've got one minute. Got worse. I think I get more for the one on the second row. That almost went straight through! That was superb! Was superb. Phew. Wow, you, you set a new high score. I ain't never seen any better than that. You've got an A+. Plus. The Guildmaster said, if anyone shot brilliant, I could award them this. Whew, that was some fancy shooting. It took like, what, five, six tries? Sorry, had him on. Okay. It's a big ass sword. Items. Minus 10, scariness minus 10. Time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, 
and once used, it takes time to replenish. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods, if you wish to join her. I hope you're ready. Truly mastering a hero's skills takes years of practice. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside, the life he had lost. The family that had been torn the from him. Is pretty fun. I've only played At last, like two and only three. the final day of tests remained. I Success no problem with would them. not be in with his training. Apparently. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Go on, fight me! Ah, a good strike. You're getting better at this. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me! Fight me! Well done! Put some action! That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test, and you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master.
I'll probably stick with sword and stuff. What the, maybe just that weapon, it seemed kind of shitty. I know in the, I think it was the second one, you could, if you use magic, you could summon a pet. I'm not sure how it is in this one. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us, and look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choice going, by the way. Whether they lead you down the Maybe path of good or the future of England will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's time for you to leave us that. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. First, you must select the area you wish to advance in. Strength, skill, or will. Notice your experience pools in the lower left portion of the screen. You acquire general experience by collecting experience orbs, and you automatically acquire strength, skill, and will experience by using your abilities in those areas. You've chosen strength. You could be a great warrior. You can use your experience from melee combat to improve your physique, health, or toughness. Choose one now. Ah, you've chosen skill. You could be an expert archer or a stealthy rogue. You can use your experience from ranged combat to improve your speed, accuracy, or guile. Choose one now. You've chosen Will. You could be a powerful magic user. You can use your experience from magic combat to learn new spells and improve those you already possess. Choose one of the branches of magic. Physique allows you to do more damage in melee combat and to carry heavier weapons.
There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Check the guild for more quests. Weren't they, make, weren't they gonna make like the first MMO on the console for Xbox? Or something like that, I think it was, wasn't it? They ended up canceling it because they didn't think it'd ever do any good. Master, it's you. Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Wasps are attacking the picnic area! Follow me! Follow me! Hey! Over here! You've come to the right place. It's this way! I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. Look at this filthy pile of rags. <laughs> he really expects people to give him gold. Well, if you want, I'll tell you something that'll really annoy him. used to be an adventurer like yourself, but look at me now, begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. Is that stinking beggar? Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. Hey, over 
over here! Follow me! It's this way! Please! You've got to save my friends! She's near to death. A few more strikes will finish her off. Chicken chaser. You've received a new quest card. You're the chicken chaser, are you? Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. Come 
into the right place. Impressive wasp slaying. There are bigger creatures out there. Maze is waiting for you outside the Bowerstone Tavern. is now the servants who look after the guild live here. Are you coming along on the tour, hero? In here. Oh, hello again. Ah, oh, chicken chaser. Look at the chicken run. Health increases the amount of damage you can take.
Moment. 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 Oi! You're new here, aren't you? We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Ah, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Can I interest you? Chicken chaser, I believe. All right. You've come to the right place. to the right place. Impressive wasp slaying. But there are bigger creatures out there. Enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes, I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But um, hey! you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, 
that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor and there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Check the guild for more quests. So that's what a hero looks like. Hey. I wish you again, hello. You know, 
Welcome to the card pairs table. Oh, chicken chaser. Look at the chickens run! What takes your fancy? Thanks so much. I like it. Thank you for your money. I mean your custom. Look at our swordsman. You look like someone who needed some muscle. You won't find anyone better than me. Suit yourself. You know where to find me if you change your mind. I'd be here. It'd be nice. Oh, so that's what I'd be here if you don't mind. Be here if you would. Ready to help? Some scallywags trade between the shops to earn themselves gold, you know. Chicken chaser. Chicken chaser? A beer would be nice. Beer, you be so kind. I think a beer. Hello. Hey. Do you like me? Give hey. Do you like me? Hey. Nice eyes. I want the beer. Please. Stay legal. You're sure to find something to suit you. Isaiah's having problems at Orchard Farm. Some odd things are going on up there. Looking for items of torment. Hey, you can't come up here. You need a permit.
chicken chaser. Do you chase chickens? So you're going to be doing some work down at Orchard Farm, are you? I knew that was your true calling. I saw Lady Grey set the opposite quest in the guild yesterday. Maybe I should pick it up. I hope you've been practicing. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. See you later, farm boy.
big one. Oh dear. All breakages must be paid for. Chicken chaser. Do you chase chicken?